my job was to be a better realtor than the realtors I was talking to. I'm not even a realtor, but I'm like, if, if I'm gonna be add value to your guys' business, I need to be better at what you do than you are. Stop being the critic of what, you know, Matt makes music. And I tell Matt, like he uses that stuff. He talks about it and, you know, in his, in his groups and stuff like that. I think, you know, it's, it's, you can connect with people on it. But here's the thing, and a lot of people, my music producers will tell you this, the piece that goes viral and becomes the hit was the piece they didn't think was gonna be very good. Do not be your own critic. Let the people, the audience decide what they enjoy and they don't enjoy. Now you can absolutely do market research to find out the things that are trending and, you know, like Alexis does a really good job for us of finding uh, trends on TikTok. So you can piggyback off trends if you really are more concerned with getting viewership. There's a lot of really cool things that you can jump on the bandwagon of and then, you know, siphon views off of that because people are searching for that trend or that hashtag on, on TikTok. I'm not here to tell you the most important thing is to get the viewers right now because I think the viewers are going to come if you're doing the activities. I have rules for myself. There's no rules for you. Like me, I don't talk about politics, religion, race. I don't talk about, but look, I mean, there's plenty of people I see in my industry that do. So look, I have my opinions on, on politics, but it's not for social media. I'm not trying to influence anybody else on their opinions of, of, of politics. I can have my own opinion. We all have our own opinions. There's nothing wrong with having an opinion, right? It's when you try to, in my opinion, when you try to influence other people's opinions, to me, I, we start drawing, I, I start drawing the line of like, that's kind of, you know, I have my rules for social media, but the, the, you have your own rules. Like nobody's there to tell you, look, if you do something really wrong, Facebook will tell you and ban you, right? Or they'll flag your account, right? So if you approach it with a servant mentality, of, I'm here to educate, the, the content's more important than the, the quality of the video or the editing of the video. I mean, the sound is important. I will be honest with you, like people will sometimes check out if the sound quality sucks. Like if they can't hear what you're saying, then that's a problem. That's the only, I, mean, I don't care if your video is a little grainy or you didn't use the right filter or your hair is not perfect. Like, I don't care. Like, that's not important to me. I'm listening to the person. That's uh, me personally. Like, I'm like trying to understand because I'm following things that I'm interested in. Are you trying to appeal to the person who cares how you look? It's easy for me to say because I'm, I'm blessed that with the fact that I don't care with what other people think. I just don't. Like my mom and my dad, they were super supportive of me and I guess it was the way I was raised, but like I feel good about myself and I'm good enough and I don't need their likes and their affirmations to make me feel like I'm a good person. The videos that get the most, for me, the most organic reach are the ones where I have people disagree with things because now all the comments start and then the algorithm is like, wow, this is an engaging piece of content and it pushes you to the top and all of a sudden it's like a freaking snowball. I did a video once on talking about my personal scenario on how I refinanced my property a year and a half ago. And I literally did my exact scenario. Of, here's my current, I did it on a whiteboard. Here's my current situation. Here's what I did, right? So haters, people are like, uh, why would you ever take financial advice from a guy that has an equity line on their house? To me, that's just the quickest way of realizing like winners and losers. Personally, I don't ever look for a reason to give a negative comment, but I'm always looking to learn. The fact that, that you guys showed up this morning tells me all I need to know about each individual in this room because you showed up to learn, right? Because a lot of your peers don't and a lot of people don't spend the time. Like I spend an inordinate amount of time, like on health, on almost borderline unhealthy time educating myself. My job was to be a better realtor than the realtors I was talking to. I'm not even a realtor, but I'm like, if, if I'm going to be add value to your guys' business, I need to be better at what you do than you are. Which is why like a lot of stuff that we put out is how to get your offer accepted. I did a whole training on 11 ways to get your offer accepted. If you say I'm happy with where my business is today and, and I'm fine and whatever, that's fine. Do you, I don't, I'm not here to tell you you have to increase your business or you have to make more money or you have to go dominate Mary down the street, right? That's not, that's up to you on how busy you want to be and how much business and the kind of personal brand. But at the end of the day, the most important part is all you have is your personal brand.